much for joining me today and listening to this video. So you've obviously clicked onto this video because you're interested in sustainability and really learning more about what it means. I'm going to be doing a series on sustainability and really getting to the nuts and bolts of what does it mean to be sustainable because it really is quite a complex topic. So what I thought I would do is start today with how are we, Revel Knitwear, sustainable and what are our goals, what are our visions, what are our focuses? So I wanted to kind of focus on what our four main goals are and go through then in a bit more detail about how we meet those goals. So the first goal that I have is to reduce waste and I'll go through how we do that. The second one is how we reuse waste. So any scraps that come off the um, knitwear that I use, um, the fiber that I use. The other one is low energy output. So how can we reduce our sort of carbon footprint, our emissions into the earth? And the last one is locally made. How can we make things locally and how can we support our local economy and also reduce the amount of time that from fiber, so from farm essentially, to fiber, to product, how can we reduce the time um, that it takes for that whole process to happen? So I hope you really enjoy this. Let's get started. So the first way that we meet one of our goals is that we make everything by hand. So at the moment we use both circular needles and traditional knitting needles to knit everything by hand. I have a small team of women makers, so other women that knit for me and I also knit myself and we make everything locally here in Australia. The reason I wanted to make things by hand, not only aesthetically because I really love the sincere and authentic nature of a hand knit, it was also to essentially reduce our emissions out into the universe. So if you're making everything by hand, you're not using big factories or big machinery or, any, or anything like that. So that was a really big goal of mine is to make everything by hand, go back to the traditional way of making things and that's adhering to more of that slow fashion movement. So making everything by hands essentially reduces the amount of energy output into the universe. More manpower by hands, less by machinery. that I meet this goal, and this is a bit of a complex topic, is using our fibers. So here at Revel Knitwear, we believe that the fibers that we use, we want them to have two qualities. One, we want them to be a sustainably and naturally sourced uh, fiber. So for example, using merino wools or some cottons. But also what we want it to be is really degradable at the end of its life cycle. So for example, merino wool is the most biodegradable a natural resource that after the life of its wear, it is biodegradable into the earth. Now it's complex because yes, there are dyes and maybe the dyes aren't all natural and things like that in, in the big scheme of things. However, we purchase, we try to purchase as much um, wool and cotton that's made here in Australia and also that is dyed ethically and transparently. Um, we can't win all the time, but we basically know that by using uh, merino and cottons, at the end of its life cycle, it's going to be degradable and also it's going to have, it's really, really strong. So it's going to be um, durable and last a really long time. So it's kind of like, is it degradable at the end of its life cycle? Is it durable? Is it going to last a long time? And is it natural? So yes, we feel like we tick all those boxes. There's a really huge amount of information out there about, you know, cotton farming and whether it's sustainable and organic versus not organic and it's super complex but I just wanted to touch on those main points. The third way that I can meet our goals is that everything is locally made. Not only do I want to support the local economy but I also wanted to again reduce the energy and emissions out into the universe. So one way of doing that is reducing the amount of time and the amount of space that again from fiber to making it to the end customer, we wanted to reduce the amount of time and space that that happens. So for example, if you buy something that is uh, say made in London and they make everything in China, that garment goes from China to London, back maybe to China, if it depends if it's made in samples, back to London and then over to you in Australia. That's sort of a, simplifi a simplified version of how that works. What I wanted to do is to reduce that and have everything happening locally in Australia. Yes, I'm going to have international customers, so yes, some of the knits may take a little plane trip overseas, but I wanted the production and predominantly all the making to be made in Australia and therefore reducing our footprint and reducing the length of time and also the length of space that from fibre to garment that it travels. 
Essentially the reason for that, as I said, is to reduce emissions, so reducing the energy output into the universe, also to support our local economy. I also wanted to empower female knitters around Australia to be really using this tradition that we have and yeah, making everything locally. So it's really about reducing energy, reducing the space and time that it takes for it to get to you and also, yeah, reducing our emissions overall. obvious one is about that reduction of waste. So the way that I started off by doing this label was doing all made to order. The way that that would reduce our waste is that we're only creating to demand. Currently we're in a stage of redoing a little bit of how we yeah, do our production and we are going to have small runs of knits. And this is still going to be sustainable because we're only going to be producing small capsule amounts. So really small quantities to start with. And then as they sell, we will then again uh, inquire with our customer base of who would like this to be restocked and how many people. And then again, only create to demand. So we're reducing our waste by not having excess stock left over and we're only creating to demand. That's really important to me. factor of the knitwear for me was the maintenance factor. So how do you wash and wear and what does that life cycle look like as well? So one really good thing about the knitwear is that it's low maintenance. So I've probably banged on about this a number of times, but the really good thing about knitwear is that it is really low maintenance. So you only need to hand wash. You can use organic and sustainable uh, wool and delicates washes. You can use a really small amount of water in your sink. So literally only the amount that you need to cover the wool. And also in its life cycle, you really only need to wash will I guess a when it gets smelly or b when it gets actually soiled with anything what you could, other ways that you can essentially keep it really uh, clean is by airing it out after wearing it especially if it gets any smells into it and again as I said only washing it as needed so again that has a really good life and yeah it doesn't really take much to care for it and look after it and my biggest goal is to have a circular fashion brand what this means is that the fibers that are used initially get created into a garment, they get worn, they get used, anything that becomes scraps then gets reused and it continues in this cycle. So either things can become compostable, biodegradable, or also things can be reused. So one way that we're doing that is saving any scraps that we, so when you're making a jumper, you have small amounts of scraps. We use all of the scraps to sew up the jumper. So we're really ending up with probably about a handful of scraps at the end of every jumper. What I'm doing with those is keeping those and we're gonna get those respun into new fibers. We can then use those fibers, completely 100% uh, recycled fibers to make new knitwear. So again, that's led into that sort of circular um, fashion way of doing things. So that's a really big goal of mine. I'm working on it still and I can't wait to bring more of that to you. I hope you really enjoyed that short and sharp way of uh, explaining to you how Revel Knitwear is sustainable. Again, these are really complex topics and I know that everybody has a lot of opinions on those. But the, I guess, key message that I wanna leave with you is that you just need to do your best. For example, I could be using a merino wool that's sourced here in Australia and that's a really sustainable option for me. That's great. But if I want to achieve a look with a cotton more chunky wool, which is something that we do have, I may need to source that. So I might source that and it might be blended with a little bit of acrylic. If that's the case and I'm making a small amount of numbers with a cotton and acrylic blend, that's not a 100% win for me, but that's a 90% win for me. So that's one thing that I really want people to keep in mind is it's all about the small wins and it's all about the bigger picture overall. Doing everything you can to make a more sustainable brand is really important. And you, as I said, you cannot win at all. At the end of the day, we all need to wear clothing and clothing is going to end up as waste at some point in its life cycle. But what we wanna encourage is using natural fibers. We wanna encourage wearing something for a really long time mending it, wearing it, and at the end of its life cycle, it's gonna be really degradable into the earth. So I hope that explains some of that to you. I hope you really enjoyed this and leave any comments or questions down below.